Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Excel to graph a series of quadratic and higher order polynomial functions. So here is our setup. So I've made four columns here. First column is just our x values. Second column is our first function x squared plus 2x plus 12 equals 0. I just didn't put the 0 here, right? And the third function, second function, negative 2x squared minus 3x plus 5 and x cubed plus 5x plus 10. I've labeled them function A, B, and C just for purposes of discussion. So, first thing you want to do whenever you have to graph these kind of functions is to make a column of x values and give them a good range. Say, start at negative 10 and work up to maybe uh, positive 10, to the opposite side of the number line. So you can type in negative 10, grab the bottom right hand corner here and drag down and hold the control key on your keyboard and you'll see it'll sequence up and when you got to positive 10 you can let go much easier than typing those in let's center these now let's get our y values for function a so we'll do equals our x wherever we see x here we're going to put in this cell reference cell reference a3 and likewise over here so equals a3 squared plus 2 times a3 plus 12 so when we put negative 10 in here we get a hundred plus plus negative 20 so we're at 80 and then plus 12 so 92 then we can also grab the bottom right hand corner and also drag this all the way down so we got our first sequence so column of values for our first function our function a okay next let's do the same thing for function b 2x negative 2x Sorry, instead of x we're going to write times a3 square minus 3 times a3 plus 5 so it's going to square negative 10 then multiply that by negative 2 so we'll get 100 squared negative 100 squared is a positive 100 times negative 2 which is negative 200 minus negative 30 which is plus 30 so we're back to positive 120 I mean 170 negative sorry negative 170 and then plus f positive 5 and so that's negative 165 and that checks out and we could also drag this using the bottom right hand corner and finally let's complete this I've put a polynomial with the order of 3 here so we can see how to graph that as well so that will be wherever we see x we put our x value here which is a3 plus 5 times a3 plus 10 and let's just check that negative 10 squared is negative negative 10 cubed is negative 1000 minus 50 so it's negative 150 plus 10 so negative 140 so now we have all our values we need to go ahead and plot these let me zoom in a little and let us go to the insert ribbon choose line this is the quicker way and it automatically suggests something for us which we have to go to design tab and alter slightly so here's the design tab on the chart tools want to click select data 
Well, let's select, select data and let's see how it chose our values. So for the name it chose that. Let's change the name to the actual equation. And for the values, it selected a little too much. So we need to alter that. Okay. And let's do the same thing for equation B. The name will be the name of the equation. The, C, the values will actually be these numbers. And finally, go over to C. Hit edit. For the name, we're going to choose the, the equation. And for the values of the equation, we just get all these values that we computed. Hit OK. And finally, for the horizontal axis, we're going to click edit and only select the values from X. Click OK. And OK. And here are our three curves. As you can see, we got from negative 10 to positive 10. And here's our legend of the three curves, the different colors. So the green one is C. This is the green one. The red one is B. And the blue one is A. And we see they all kind of meet somewhere around 0 here. Okay. So that's one way to graph this. The other way is to start from scratch, go over to insert again. This time go to scatter and choose scatter with smooth lines. Starts you out with a blank. And we're going to go over to the chart tools, design ribbon, click select data. And now we're going to add a series. The name of the series is going to be the name of the function. The x values are always going to be our x values and the y values are going to be the values for that function a. And You see it's already starting to graph it. Next we're going to add another series. This time series b. Here are our x values again and here are our y values, the y values for b. And finally Let's add the third equation. Here are the x values. And here are the y values. And we can see that this curve looks exactly the same as the one we got up here. It's just a more, uh, it's got a y axis here, which, which runs uh, up and down at the point zero so it's much more like a Cartesian plane as opposed to the first graph we made here which is more like a graph you would see in a publication a newspaper or something like that this is more a math type graph so two ways to make the same graph and also to get the values here with this table that drives these graphs Okay. And furthermore, if you need to zoom in on any of this data, you can click, and you don't want to see everything, you can click on the actual body of the chart, and then grab by using the blue handle here, the bottom corner, and alter any portion that you need to zoom in on a certain portion. As you can see, it's only showing showing less values. I was more interested in what's going on around zero. So I only chose values around zero, as you can see here. So I chose it with this bottom right hand corner. Okay? And we could do the same thing for this second chart that we created. Click on it, activate it. You see it activates all this blue and purple and green stuff. If I click off, it disappears. When I click on it, click until you get it activated. Then you can grab from the bottom right hand corner here, pull up, and top right of the blue section only, and drag down until you zoom into where you're interested in. Okay? So, I hope this was helpful. Uh, this is kind of quasi math and Excel. Both these subjects kind of meet 
uh, when we use Excel. There's a lot of mathematics involved. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, be sure to check out my other Excel, Access, PowerPoint, Math, Statistics, and other computer tricks tutorial videos on my channel. While you're there, subscribe and click on our sponsor's ads as you watch these videos. That's what keeps these coming to you for free. Till next time, have a great day.